Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about nesting in SCSS. Now, nesting basically allows you to structure your SCSS the same way and in the same format that you style your HTML. So I'm over here on my index.html page, and this is just the page that's over here. And you can see that I've added this article text. So down here, we have this main block of code. And this main block has inside of it some paragraphs, and we also have this button, and then we have this article. And inside of this article, we have these, like this one paragraph. So in HTML, we lay out our elements in a hierarchy, right? So this main is like the parent of this paragraph and this article, and this article is the parent of this paragraph, right? The, they're sort of laid out, so like the main is, is sort of the highest level container, and then inside we have like, for example, this other container article. It's a really good way to lay out, uh, you know, different elements for HTML, right? And it works really well. But the problem is when we write CSS to style HTML, we can't or we normally can't use this sort of nested layout like we do in HTML. So if I was just gonna write some normal CSS and let's say I wanted to style some of these different elements, I would have to do it a different way. I'd have to like specify certain selectors and then give them information. So if I wanted to give like main, maybe I could make all of the um, main, I'll give it a background color of, you know, let's say blue. And if I wanted to style the paragraphs that are inside of main, I would have to type out main P, and now I could give these a color of like yellow, for example. And if I wanted to style that article, I'd also have to specify it using a selector. So I'd have to type main article, and then I could you know, make maybe a different background color. And here we can make this like red. And if I wanted to access the paragraph inside of this article, I'd have to use an even more complex selector. So it'd be like main article P, and now I could style the paragraph inside of here. So we can just give it a color of like green or something. And so it took me doing all of this just to style some of these elements over here. And it's not super apparent like what the hierarchy is when I style things like this. And so I refresh the page and you can see that the styling works, like everything was able to be styled, but this is like kind of a messy way to do it. And it doesn't at all mirror the structure of the HTML. Inside of SCSS, you can actually use nested CSS. So I can just get rid of all this stuff. And instead of specifying each of those tags individually using selectors, I can just take this main and then inside of this main, I can style the paragraph. So I could say P, and then I could put all of the code to style those paragraphs inside of here. So we can give these a color of red. And if I wanted to style that article, I could do the same thing. So I could say article, and over here we can put all of the style for the article. So you know we can give it a background color of yellow. And inside of this article tag, another layer deep, we can define the styling for these paragraphs. So we can give these paragraphs a color of green. And so you can see, instead of having to specify all those specific selector tags, now we can just structure this the same way that we structured the HTML, right? So we have this main high level container, then we have the paragraph, the article, and the paragraph within the article. So this mirrors the same layout that we used in HTML. So if I save this, you'll see that it'll style it just the same. Obviously it looks a little bit different from before, but that's just because we use different colors. By organizing the SCSS this way, it allows us to mirror the structure that we're using in the HTML. And so the HTML and the styling have the same hierarchical structure, which makes it a lot easier to sort of keep track of. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.